55 years ago, the first aliens to visit our planet crash-landed in Roswell, New Mexico. Since then, these friendly invaders have slowly but surely become part of our world. Tonight, we commemorate their arrival with a special edition of Exposure. Welcome, true believers. Tonight, Aliens in Your Shorts, an Exposure Special Edition. First, floating cows, men in black, and an alien's hidden agenda. Then, bringing shade to a far-off world is no easy job. Plus, desperate to be probed. Why won't you abduct me, Mr. Alien? Exposure Special Edition. Downloading host profile, Lisa Marie, an actress, filmmaker, and musician best known for her roles in Ed Wood, Mars Attacks, and Sleepy Hollow. She'll next be seen in this summer's Planet of the Apes and is currently collaborating on a film project for the Walker Art Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Whether they're stealing our cattle, replacing our organs, or creating odd circles in our crops, one thing's for sure, aliens are among us. Strange invaders seem to be popping up all over, as you'll soon witness in tonight's special episode entitled Aliens in Your Shorts. First, it's three million light years from home. It's alone, and it's more than a little pissed off. It's not exactly E.T., but it does need the help of a certain naive young Earthling. Heard was directed by Mike Mitchell. A native of Oklahoma, Mitchell studied animation in college and has done just about everything you can do in Hollywood. Storyboard work, an animated series, even feature film directing. And this fall, a pilot he directed called Greg the Bunny will premiere. Now, experience the touching tale of a boy, his alien, and the fate of our world in Herd. Number five?
Good evening, brother. We want to share words with you about the power of the Lord Jesus Christ Almighty. Do you believe in the end of the world? If so, we can give you the insurance you need to spend your well-earned afterlife in the kingdom of heaven. Yes, Jesus. We are messengers sent by the Lord Christ, sent here to knock on the door of your soul. And if you open your door to us, to Jesus Christ, his brother. Just a moment of your time, brother. As loyal servants of Christ, we can help you join the great herd of salvaged souls which will graze peacefully in the fields of that good shepherd of eternal peace, Jesus Christ Almighty. My soul longs, yes, even faints for the... <laughs> this is left behind by the mothership? C can you say Dorman? My name is Dorman. Dorman. box is very important. You know, that was a gift. Uh... So, uh, from what I'm uh, gathering, you're going to take all these crude and primitive Earth items and somehow uh, construct a super advanced space phone to signal your home planet. Wild old cow. And today, we're going to highlight those grassy blades with a warm meridian French hue. I wonder if people at NASA can do this. And we see here... It sure is harder than flipping burgers. Paint. Hey, you guys got burgers on your planet? Things to spring to life. Wonder if I could get a job at NASA. Hey, what do you think about that? Alien?
Rise and shine. I'm finished. I did it just like you told me when you probed my thoughts. So what do you say? I'm gonna show you what Earth's all about. California, director Mike Mitchell and the star of Herd, The Alien. No, no. This is what I'm talking about. Don't humiliate me in front of the guys. Okay. okay? All right. Act like you had a good time on okay. Herd when they ask questions. All right. Are we going to go? It's great to see you again. And uh, mm -hmm. did, you have a, did you have a good time working on Herd? Herd? Yeah. Herd. Oh, your little film? Oh, I see. You've, you're so big yeah. now that you don't remember working on the tiny films. Yeah. No. No. What are you? What, What's what? your name? Mitchell. Mitchell. Mike right, Mitchell. Right. Yes. We worked together on a, on a short. No, I remember. I'm just pulling your leg. Uh, <laughs> you were great in it. It was it was a pleasure. Of course I was. Well, I, don't don't you think I did a good job on that or? What were you doing? I was the directing it. I directed it and I co-wrote it. You couldn't it. direct traffic. Okay, that's funny. Stay tuned. The pieces of the puzzle are about to come together in the conclusion of Herd. The most anticipated movie of the summer is coming to theaters. Co-starring me, Lisa Marie. Exposure is your inside guide to Planet of the Apes. Featuring my own exclusive behind-the-scenes footage, an up-close and personal look at the making of the movie, and a one-on-one -on -one interview with special guest Tim Burton, and some Planet of the Apes-inspired short films. Guaranteed to make you go ape. An Exposure Special Edition, July 29th at 11 p.m. Eastern and Pacific. Exposure will continue. Series premiering Saturday at 9 Eastern and Pacific on Sci Fi. Let's just say I'm saving your lives. See Elevated from the director of Q when Lisa Marie hosts an all new Exposure next Sunday night at 11, part of the summer of Sci Fi. Now Exposure continues with the conclusion of Heard. Mr. Nelson, are you going to be straight with us? Oh, yes. Good. 
Tell us about the alien. Uh, what alien? Oh, ah, 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 my eyes are so, oh, 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 Explain this. That's, uh, that's not me in that picture. Mr. Nelson, what's this? All right, I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. What are you doing? He was going to tell us. Give me the mace. It's a space bomb. The alien made me build it. How does it work? I don't know. Okay, goodbye. I God, I don't even know. What? 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 That? No, I don't want it. No, no, no. Did they mace you guys too? Once again, Mike Mitchell and the Alien. 
We're here in Hollywood. Hollywood. Ho Hollywood, California, where uh, you visited uh, many times, and, and now you're kind of a, a fixture here in Hollywood. You've been going to a lot of parties, and you're kind of an industry guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've been seen at Johnny Depp's house. That is impressive. Is that why your head's so big, or is it because you're a big Hollywood oh, I, star I have now? A big head. You do yeah, have. I think funny. your your ego, your head is expanded. Hey, how'd, you, to, how'd you come up with that one, Mitchell? But I don't know. Big head. I worked on it all last that night. That's actually. Got? Let's talk about what you've been doing. Uh, well, after doing Herd, I I did a little art film called uh, Deuce Bigelow Male Gigolo. Oh. Go go reproduce with yourself. You know. Sounds like, a, oh, did I, did I hurt your feelings, alien? Oh, no, I was just nodding off. <laughs> <laughs> what an ass you are. Hey. Hmm, parting words. Uh, stay gold. I will stay gold, thanks. And you stay golden, because you're funny. You're a funny guy. I mean, in a talented way. What? I don't know. Later, for those who can't be captured, help is on the way. My name is Ivan, and I have never been abducted by aliens. And next, stranded on a planet without shade. When Aliens in Your Shorts, an Exposure Special Edition continues. Exposure will be right back, and you better be here, or I'll destroy your worthless planet. A good reporter distills information into news. Journalists bring about change. A great interviewer always looks his subject in the eye, even if it's in the middle of his forehead. Oh, yes, supermodel! For the reporters at the Chronicle, the unbelievable isn't fiction. Wow. All this is real. If you're not ready for the truth, don't ask for it. The Chronicle, an all-new original series. Special two-hour premiere, Saturday, 9 p.m. on Sci-Fi. Believe everything. Thousands of years from now, a desolate planet sits baking in the sun. It could be Earth or some other far-off world. Point is, it's hot. And for one stranded alien, a bit uncomfortable. In Shade, director Mike Huber provides a vision of the future that is certainly no picnic. Born in Sierra Vista, Arizona, Huber studied computer design at San Jose State, then headed to Hollywood, where he found work on the feature films Godzilla, Armageddon, and Star Trek Insurrection. Currently, he's a freelance animator in the Pacific Palisades. Now, let's take a look at his humorous tale of tomorrow, Shade.
Shade when exposure continues. Exposure continues with the conclusion of Shade. California. Here is director Michael Huber. Basically, it, it all stemmed from the idea that I probably need a vacation myself. I'll live vicariously through the character. <laughs> He's going to go take a little vacation himself. Gork and I are very similar in that uh, that when pushed to minimal extents, you know, we both become very aggravated. <laughs> I definitely believe in aliens. They're definitely 
other creatures living out there on other planets right now. If we have an infinite universe, there's infinite possibilities. You know, whether they're among us, I don't know. I have no clue. If I could show an alien um, a film that basically, you know, in incorporated my views on humanity or what humanity's about, it would be History of the World Part 1. <laughs> Next, they just want to be wanted. We're here to ask, why didn't you pick me? What's wrong with me? A 12-step program for the abductively challenged. When Aliens in Your Shorts, an exposure special edition continues. On Sci-Fi. On a planet far from home. Where am I? You filthy human! One man will challenge an empire. I want to talk to him before he dies. And one people. They all want to see this human who defies the apes. Will fight for freedom. Get me the spaceman. The Planet of the Apes. Rated PG-13. July 27th, only in theaters. Facts of Life by Lysol. Fact. Hats don't come with brakes. Fact. Here we go. Fear gets a lift. What's out there? Let's just say I'm saving your lives. See Elevated from the director of Q when Lisa Marie hosts an all-new Exposure next Sunday night at 11, part of the summer of sci-fi. Now, Exposure continues with host Lisa Marie. Every year, hundreds of people are captured by unidentified flying objects, probed and analyzed, then returned to Earth as better people. But not everyone gets to go. For those of you who are frustrated by the lack of alien contact, there's finally an organization that feels your pain. Non-Abductees Anonymous was directed by Philip Powell, a part-time actor. Powell studied communications in Kentucky before moving to Detroit to try his hand at broadcasting. He currently lives and works in High Point, North Carolina, where he runs a video production company with his brother Robert. Now, the truth is out there, and it ain't pretty. In Non-Abductees Anonymous. I was about 30 when I finally admitted to myself that I was abductively challenged. So that's why I formed Non-Abductees Anonymous. My name is Ivan, and I have never been abducted by aliens. Hi, Ivan. Hey, I'm Tina, and I've never been abducted by aliens. Hi, Tina. It's hard to believe, but every year, millions of people are not abducted. It affects your self-esteem. We're here to ask, why didn't you pick me? What's wrong with me? At work is the hardest. Oh, I got abducted again last night. My mother's ship was so big, I was so scared. You feel left out. We do a lot of abductee role-playing, and that helps. OK, we are taking you from your car now. In our scenarios, we're the winners. We're the specimens. We are now implanting a special alien device inside your body. I can feel it. We call it our alien theater. We're hoping to perform at some local nursing homes, but that's a ways off. I love your big alien eyes and your big alien head. You might think they gross us, but I long to describe them under hypnosis. Hey. Lately, I've been thinking that visibility might be an issue, so I'm trying some things. Why won't you abduct me, Mr. Alien? You hate me! No, I'm just really busy, that's all. Liar! Oh! We're proactive about being abducted. We're constantly involved in field actions. We go where the aliens are. We're there 24-7, even on holidays. Whoa. Our persistence Whoa. is bound to pay off. Whoa. They know we're serious. I think the aliens won't abduct me because my eggs are bad. That is not no. true. No. That's no. Uh, 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 
I think it's because I'm too fat. We think the aliens might be prejudiced against people with mental illness. A few of us have had some counseling. Warren, were you really abducted last night? Yes. From where? The Bermuda Triangle. Honestly? Yes. Here's a photo they gave me to prove it. Her name is Brad. The aliens love me, this I know Nostradamus tells me so Grey ones, let me take this trip I'll clean toilets on your ship Yes, the aliens love me The aliens yes, are the really aliens missing me. out <laughs> If I were going to have a party in space, these are the first people I would invite. We just love big-eyed aliens in an almost entirely healthy way. It's hard not to feel animosity towards the aliens for rejecting us, but we manage. These are warm, vibrant, caring, intelligent people who have a lot to offer the universe. From a UFO somewhere above High Point, North Carolina, director Philip Powell. This film had its origins in a poem that me and my friends wrote in college. Are the aliens pleased by me? I lay out nude for them to see. I wait for their beck and call, but fear my signaler is too small. I want to make a note that that poem was not about me. We were making fun of another guy. I would love to be abducted because um, I think the aliens would eventually put you in a zoo, which I think would be cool because you could like come out and see all the people and swim in the pool a little bit. And they might force you to mate with like a beautiful woman, kind of like Nova in Planet of the Apes. I love comedy. I love doing wacky, crazy, silly things. Drama may make you cry, but um, you know, if, if given the chance, I'd rather always make somebody laugh. I think we're all creatures of need and we're all looking for somebody else to affirm us. And that's what support groups are all about. And that's kind of what non-abductees is about. We're desperately looking for someone to affirm that we are of value, that we're special. What inspired me to um, do the short was um, the television show, Exposure. I had this idea about this non-abductees thing and I thought, I'm gonna do it. So uh, if it hadn't been for Exposure, I probably wouldn't have done the short. <laughs> Next, go behind the scenes with Exposure Studios as they begin their first exciting short film production, The Man With No Eyes, when Exposure continues. Lisa Marie. Exposure Studios is dedicated to the creation of original sci-fi short films. Our first project, The Man With No Eyes, has just started production. Join us now for a look behind the scenes at this mysterious new take on the Wild West. Roll camera, scene 23. Parker, action. We heard about uh, the opportunity to work with sci-fi and uh, thought that it was really cool because, you know, it was a chance to get out there and make a movie. They asked us, you know, do we have any short projects? And we said, oh, yeah, you know, sure, of course, tons of them. We didn't have any at the time. We banged out three scripts in three days and submitted them. The Man With No Eyes was the last one we wrote, and it was the one we tucked at the bottom. <laughs> didn't think there was any chance that it was going to be the one that was selected, and here we are. The Man With No Eyes is basically alien gunslinger in the Old West. He took that sort of element of what is the essential, you know, basis of the Western. It's two people showing off at some point in time, and two people that have met before that have come back together again to fight. So basically we took that and uh, put in the science fiction element that these two guys are aliens. And it's kind of a marriage of these two genres, taking the conventions of the Western, but really pushing it a notch with this kind of supernatural or extraterrestrial element. 
But what's particularly ambitious about this is we have many hurdles. We had the horse hurdle. We had a location hurdle. We have visual effects hurdles. We have stunt hurdles. Tam and I sat down early on and I said, listen, this is not something you can typically do. And he looked at me and goes, I want to go for it. You know, if you come on the ride, I'll go for it. We're shooting with the 24P HD camera modified by Panavision. And uh, let me just say, it's a freaking great camera. We're 24 frame high definition video, digital video. This is all brand new uh, technology that I thought would lend itself towards the subject matter. Digital medium right out of the camera would allow them to get the biggest bang for the limited amount of bucks that they had. Tim Cox is using the same Panavised Sony 900 Panavision camera and lenses that uh, George Lucas used. Damn it, if they could go and make Star Wars with it, it's good enough for us. If you're excited about something and people understand that excitement and can share the excitement with you, it becomes infectious and things just evolve naturally. Okay, so you see it, you see it, you see it, you're like, what the hell is it? Squint a little bit, and then all of a sudden, that's right. Everyone rallied around Tim because they, they believed in what he could do, and I. Uh, and it's come together. It exceeded my expectations. I couldn't believe it. That's cool. Ready the horses. I'm working with friends and uh, a great location, and uh, I'm having a good time. And and uh, you, like I said, you feel the passion, the passion not just of the uh, the performers and the director, but the crew. We're not sure who this person is. He said it was the director. <laughs> Exposure Studios was involved. Uh, all along the way, they helped us develop the project, helped us pool their resources with ours to you know, make it a reality. They've just been really instrumental on, on uh, developing the script and on helping us with production. And when things get tough, they're always there. It's like having your big brothers around to say, okay, this is how you shoot the ball. You know what I'm saying? Log on now to exposure.sci-fi.com. Find out how you can be the next director of an Exposure Studios project. Exposure Studios is now accepting submissions. Make the movie. To check out this week's short film selections or any flick from Exposure's extensive collection, just log on now at exposure.sci-fi.com. Sci-Fi's groundbreaking website, exposure.sci-fi.com, allows you to vote for your favorite short films, send feedback to their creators, learn about the all-new Exposure Studios, and much more. Plus, revisit your favorite short films, many now available in broadband. I'm Lisa Marie. Let's get exposed together next week on Exposure. There's my ride. Barry, would you give me a good gig, please? Look, hey, cut! I thought we cut. Let's stop the camera, kids. No more. I want to act, and uh, I don't want to be typecast as a, as a alien all the time. Give me a job. I don't care what it is. I'm sick of talking about her all the time. Damn it, turn that camera off! Give me a and two bottles of gin. Stat. Damn it, guys, please. Can I have a little privacy? What is this, Hollywood?